Hey guys, it's Zach with Aldeck, and today I'd like to show you the FSM debug and coverage tools available for your project inside of Riviera Pro. An FSM consists of states, transitions, and sequences. The FSM is designed to make specific transitions from states that satisfy internal conditions, thus creating sequences. Finite state machine debug and coverage tools in Riviera Pro are used to verify code functionality and test methodologies. We're going to be taking a look at a sample Base64 encode FSM to get an understanding of the code and functional coverage analysis of the FSM. FSM coverage will look for states and transitions not visited by in the tests, as well as any sequences not taken. Using system Verilog pragmas, you can define components of your FSM and further describe your FSM using Aldex proprietary pragmas. The FSM is defined in comments using a syntax that allows Riviera Pro to recognize the pragmas. Here we have Aldex proprietary pragmas being used to define the state register, states within the FSM, transitions the FSM should be expected to make, sequences that should be followed, as well as illegal transitions for the FSM. There are other FSM properties that can be indicated using pragmas as well. Defining your FSM using the pragmas will allow you to view your FSM in the FSM viewer and FSM list debug windows. Using these tools can help ensure the FSM has been tested at every stage for all expected scenarios. Functional coverage can also be applied to an FSM using cover groups. Using cover groups for FSMs can provide functional insight for your FSM as its bins can handle expected and illegal transitions. It is a user-defined metric to measure the percentage of outline design specifications that have been examined. In complex designs, you can use cover groups for high-level FSM functional verification. If we move into the FSM window, we'll be able to view the FSM from the design. In general, the FSM window will show transitions among states of selected simulation objects and can generate a transition graph of any simulation object that is being traced. Its primary use is to observe finite state machine operations. There are four different states denoted in the FSM window. Blue indicates a deterministic state. Yellow indicates a non-deterministic state. Green indicates the beginning state and red the ending state. The FSM can be displayed graphically and with a table that shows source and targets listed in rows and columns. The window has zoom features that allow you to zoom in, out, zoom to fit, and a pan mode allowing you to get a closer look at different parts of the FSM. The state highlight feature allows you to highlight by most recent states, most visited states, and least visited states. The graphically represented FSM can also be modified to best suit your needs. The layout can be adjusted from default to FDP, SFDP, or NEDO, which adjusts the algorithm of the graph drawing engine. The transition style can be adjusted as well, from default to straight, which is straight lines, polygonal, which will give you polygonal chains, curved, which will generate curved arcs, or orthogonal, which will have axis aligned chains. Once you have chosen your layout and transition style, you can export the FSM into an SVG, PNG, BMP, or JPEG file using the export button. When working with and debugging your FSM, it can be helpful to open and use the FSM attributes window. When a state is selected in your FSM viewer, you can use the FSM attributes window to view previous states and next states for all transitions of that state along with the time values of transitions. You can select a transition which will display the source state and time value of transition occurrences. A great tool for summarizing and displaying all of the FSMs in your design is the FSM list window. The FSMs are listed in a tabular format and shows the coverage statistics per FSM. The name of the FSM is specified and once expanded will show the states, transitions, sequences, and instances for that FSM. The value column assigns the states to a numerical value and will show transitions and sequences using these values. 
In the hits column, where the coverage is displayed, you will also get a coverage breakdown per section that is states, transitions, and sequences. Our region column will show the name of the units containing our FSM specification, or for instances, will display the hierarchical paths to instances for these units. In the FSM list window, you can also generate coverage reports for your FSM. If we right click, we can go to coverage and generate report. We select our properties for the report and click generate. In the report, you can go to the DUT to view a summary of the FSM coverage. If we go to the FSM tab, we can actually see a more detailed uh, layout of the FSM including states, transitions, and sequences. Well, that's it for this FSM coverage and debug video. Thanks for watching.